on the polls today, I'm going to teach you how to recover your massive boot records. I deliberately my product takes my breath. So wait, uh, it's better now. The way to recover the first stage of breath is to put from CD room and recover mode. So go to mount CD room. Okay, I'm just looking a little bit. Now, you see some <coughs> options for for a fire rescue. Just type the minutes. Rescue. Now the system is being booted from CD ROM and uh, a full mouse or root file system in slash MNT sys image directory. So No. You see, uh, we, we need to uh, mount our file system from MNTS's image. So we need to have a fake root called chroot. Our root file system is mounted as slash MNTS's image, so we need to make it look normal. chroot. And I see this image. Now we can see our file system as it needs to be. Okay, so we are going to use a uh, utility to recover our graph. And at first, we need to uh, look at the partition table to go to one which file partition is our root partition so we need to run this dash out as we see slash file slash sda1 sda our bootloader is first stage of our bootloader is located on the uh, first partition and, and the beginning of the first partition which is which <coughs> has 446 bytes so let's run installer just as the okay, we better hit uh, reboot, but in this recovery console, we will can't use any modules, just try it. As you see, we are um, mm 
of the equation of the polynomial and the system, but there is no need. Actually, there, there is another way to recover the partition, and we are, and uh, it might be, can be recovered by using TD utility, but at first you need to recover it when you have a clean install, and then you can use your backup. To recover your MEA. As you can see, there's no problem with including. It takes a while to boot, I guess. Which has a lot of services. So we have recovered our operating system. <laughs>